know thyself. I want you to look deep within yourself and try to remember the time before you ever knew about religion. Can you remember? It's a time that existed before your indoctrination, before the world got their hands on the clean slate of your mind and began to put impressions upon it. That was a holy time, but then after that you was introduced to television, and television through the horror films and crime movies and stuff started showing you how to fear and how to hate. TV taught you how to be subhuman. That's why they call it television because it's transferring an idea from one mind to another, but your focus at first was from inner, your vision used to be inner vision. The visions was coming from the source, a source within you, a source that you feel, a presence a holy presence within your physical temple but look at your predicament now tv dominates a lot of y'all visioning process it, it has the visions for you and tells you what to feel what to think and what to do and therefore you act out you have been disconnected from reality now and now you have the horde mind and the system controls the collective mind of the horde Therefore, you don't have a holy curiosity anymore. You don't have an imagination anymore. Now you're just assimilating. And you know you're being graded on how well you assimilate. The insanity of it is this. You search for what you call God outside of yourself through forms of religion and things. But it's been within you all the while, but you can't recognize it anymore. Not knowing the power you possess through your mind and imagination, you give things outside of yourself power that don't have power at all. You animate things with your mind. And because this is true, you've been blinded uh, by race, by county, countries, etc. And you cannot see yourself as a planet of human beings that should have one purpose. And because this is true, you have viruses within your system. And those viruses are causing a lot of harm and division amongst you. I'm going to show you a secret. You are the center of the universe. The sun is the center of the solar system. But there's also an internal sun within you. That's why they call it a solar plexus in the body. You also is the light of the world. Close your eyes and on that black screen you will see light particles reflecting back at you because if you was to consciously be removed from this paradigm the uh, world also will too to you because you are the center of this reality and consciousness what I'm trying to induce you to do is get back to knowing who you are know thyself you are the cause not the effect but a lot of you want to be the effect of somebody else's cause and that is where the problem lies you have to remember yourself Remember, reassemble yourself, take yourself back from the world. And the only way to do that is by bringing balance back within thyself. Like it says, when the two becomes one, when the two halves becomes one, you gotta reconnect to the feminine energies. The right hemisphere is the house of the feminine energy, intuition, and the left is the house of the masculine, intellect. Yes. Everything is connected as above, so below, on earth, as it is in heaven. Some of you, when you pray, you look up into the sky, when you should go within yourself and look into the sky of your mind. You believe in a devil, but you equally believe in an angel. There are a force in this world that want negativity to be prevalent, but at the same time, there's forces that want balance. Imbalance is the greatest sin. Like the day you have been taught to believe in what you call God as masculine energy and you can't conceive of it being a feminine. So wake up from your indoctrination and reconnect back to reality. Get back in contact with who you are. Remember yourself. <laughs>